This is Twit. Lead to review of Corsair's AX 1600i digital ATX power supply. 1600 watts. It's 103.3 amps on the 12 volt outputs. Um, yeah, you're in arc welding territory there. Yeah, 18 plus titanium certified for super high efficiency, which is great if you're using that much. Uh, I mean, is this built for miners? <laughs> I mean, well, either that or just a crazy workstation with a bunch right. of GPUs in it, you know. Um, I don't mean know if it's specifically built for <laughs> miners, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, if you're a lot of the miners that are going that crazy will tend to buy like server power supplies to power a lot right. of the GPU. Like so server PSUs will come and you can get like a 1200 watt power supply, but it's only a 12 volt rail is the problem. Because um, a lot of the server hardware that uses those power supplies will have a regulator that gives you the other voltages, uh, you know, outside of the hot swappable mm -hmm. power supply thing. So Guys that are going crazy about mining stuff, they'll just, you know, they'll have a regular small power supply to deal with the motherboard, maybe one or two of the GPUs, and then they'll have like server PSUs power and uh, the, the rest of them. Um, right. But again, you know, you still need uh, crazy high uh, current power supply if you're doing workstation stuff with, uh, you know, you want to do four 1080 Ti's and a Xeon uh, workstation <laughs> uh, or four like Titan V's. Or something like that, you know, to right. do rendering or, or whatnot. You you need one of these, even though you can't SLI fast too. You can still render and do G, you know GPU compute stuff with uh, I don't know if four is even even the limit anymore. Uh, but it usually is as far as like how many slots you have to physically plug them in, right, in the system. Yep, <laughs> yep. There's a there's a decent number there of. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's basically. You're... That that's basically the perfect number you need for four high end GPUs, and then right. there's an extra there's an extra couple of additional uh, eight pins there, and those would go to your you know CPU power on a high end like workstation, uh, potentially even like a dual Xeon board. So, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely enough power there for for pretty much uh, anything in a single system you could throw at it. In case you're wondering what a a digital power supply is. Um, uh, Lee writes, uh, quote, it incorporates digital signal processing on both the primary and secondary sides, which allows the PSU to deliver extremely tight voltage regulation over a wide range of loads. And second, the A1600i features the digital Corsair link, which enables the power supply unit to be connected to the PC's motherboard for real-time monitoring, efficiency voltage regulation, and power usage, and control for overcurrent protection and fan speed profiles. And there is a semi-fanless mode, which is kind of incredibly ridiculous for a 1600-watt power supply. Uh, but the option is there should you be feeling a, the need. There's an interesting question in the chat, which we should address here. And uh, they're asking, uh, when are we going to see 240-volt PSUs? Well, I got news for you. Uh, pretty much all PSUs are also 240-volt PSUs. Like switching power yeah, supplies will the generally... Switch back. <laughs> no, there's not even switches anymore. Uh, oh, power sorry. supplies will generally have a dynamic, uh, you know, switching power supplies at least can generally just operate on a range of voltages. And usually it's from like 100 volts all the way up to like 250 volts. Uh, and they, you know, they can, in some cases, they can produce even, like, they can output even more power at mm -hmm. the higher input voltage, or they operate more efficiently, or both. Uh, you know, a lot of power supplies, you can get something like, uh, like a 5% uh, efficiency gain uh, in power supply efficiency just because you're operating on a higher input voltage. Nice. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that.